morning everybody and welcome to I believe episode 9 of Enduro Radio already can't believe it I feel like we just started this whole thing well we're out here in Tatum Washington today which is just south of Yellow and we are riding Tatum Ridge Trail number 1363 if you want to get here uh, just set your GPS to Tatum Junction Campground. Not Tatum Campground, but Tatum Junction. <laughs> there, there are two of them, as I have made that mistake in the past. Oh dear, neat. And we've been out here actually for about three days. Today we're just wrapping up. Uh, been riding all sorts of stuff. We rode to a couple lakes yesterday. And just kind of getting there. Get her finished off. It's pretty early still. Uh, we don't usually start riding this early in the morning. There's no really, if you're camping, you know, you're kind of hanging out, having your morning coffee. Just dealy dallying, but it's so, I don't know, just before 9 o'clock. But it is supposed to be about, I want to say 96, 97 degrees today, so we're going to get this done and out of the way early. We don't swelter to death. And it is very, very silty today, especially up on this trail. It's my poor wifey poo is trying to figure out which, <laughs> which angle of attack she wants to take here. She's pretty good about making the smart decisions. I, I'll give her that. Not bad, baby. Excellent choice. But I figured I'd let her kind of lead the charge today because, well, it's not like we're taking a abnormally complicated route of any kind. And, you know, she's pretty good about knowing where to go when she needs to go there and, and getting after it as we kind of, you know, we've been doing this together for a while. And, She's getting figured out pretty well. Which is kinda what I wanted to talk to you a little bit about today. Because we've discovered that, you know, relative to some married people and maybe the average of married people, the median, if you will. You know, there's a, a rough statistic in the United States, especially, that, you know, roughly half of marriages end in divorce. And, you know, we've been together for 11 years yesterday, actually. And we're trying to figure out why all these people are so goddamn unhappy with each other. I mean, why'd you get married in the first place? You know, sometimes it just doesn't really make any sense. Now, I know a lot of very, very happy people and more power to them as we are today, you know. But at the same time, I know a lot of people that are just absolutely miserable. I have a buddy of mine that's, oh, in his very early 30s, working on his second divorce, you know, stuff like that. It just it doesn't really make any sense to me, and it kind of sucks, you know, for everybody, especially if there's kids involved, things like that. But we have discovered the reason we're so happy is because we do the same things. We like the same things. It's not that I have to go out and you know, oh my gosh, I gotta go do this with my wife today. Oh, shoot me. You know, it's not one of those deals. Because our thing, her main question towards the end of every week is where are we going to ride this weekend? Which is my main question. So it works out quite nicely, actually. Man, it is just... I hope this silky shit ends here soon. Suck my will to live here. But we've learned in our time together that you gotta like the same things and you gotta want the same things and you can't just go about, you know, marriage is about a, a partnership, teamwork, being teammates through the whole thing. 
and you know it's just relationships in general I suppose not just marriage because if you don't have that it's not gonna work very well and we do this all the time together we're happier pigs and shit you know I wouldn't trade this for the world and I've very very much enjoyed kind of following behind her over the years and watching her progress and she's come along in her abilities and she rides the shit out of that beta cross trainer with a fair amount of ease yeah she has a little problem with forks here and there but shit so do I kind of iron them out as you go I mean look at her she's super smooth navigates things with a fair amount of ease. You know, on that bike's no slouch. It's not like I'm putting her on a mini bike. That's a 300cc two-stroke. Granted, it is tuned to perfection. And we kind of set that up for her, but, you know, she still has to wrangle that thing. And this stuff can be... You know, pretty technical, the stuff we rode yesterday, I wish I would have filmed it, man, you guys, it was awesome. But I don't know why I didn't, I just figured, you know, we were just going for a quick ride and back, shit, 40 miles later, we finally made it back, it was a long one, we ended up in another mountain range entirely, it was awesome. But I digress. Again, the point I'm trying to make today is, you know that old adage, a couple that plays together stays together. And I always thought that was just kind of a kind of a cliche, but you know, I've really uh, really come to believe that. You know, through and through wholeheartedly. Even if, you know, me and Destiny didn't have this, you know, we'd still be happier than shit, but the fact that we do just makes our relationship so much better. We both enjoy to the nth degree and are completely okay with spending every weekend of our lives doing this because for us, you know, we got a lot of other shit going on with, you know, work careers, taking care of our property and our home and, you know, taking care of our critters and maintenancing everything and keeping up on everything that you got to do in your day-to-day -day life. So for us, this little sport here, dare I say, is a life necessity of therapy. And we will continue to do this until we are physically unable. And that's just the way it's gonna be. And we have both accepted that, and we're both on board. Case in point, today's Monday. We're still out here doing this. I'll get back to work tomorrow. But today, we're riding some trails. Otherwise, we might be a bit grumpy next week. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? But it's fun, you guys, and it doesn't matter if it's dirt biking or not, you know. For, for what it's worth to you, if you don't have a common hobby or a common ground with your spouse, I highly suggest you get one soon. Um, and it can be anything. If you like board games or video games or golf or shit, it doesn't matter. You know, go do it together. Heck, my buddy Sean Wigger and his wife golf constantly together. A couple times a week, I think. You know, they're, they're a pretty damn happy couple, to my knowledge. And I've met the happiest people, the happiest husband-wife combinations. We actually met one yesterday on our ride to the, to the lake area and back. Uh, an older couple, actually. They were, oh shoot, late 50s, early 60s. He was riding a KTM 350 XCF and she was riding a CRF 150 and they were just the happiest people. They sat and talked to us for a long time and it was just a pleasure to talk to them. I think this is still the right trail. Yeah, probably. Oh well, here we go. But I've just noticed a correlation between 
you know, couples that genuinely enjoy, not just do it because their significant other enjoys it, but genuinely enjoy the same things relative to their overall happiness. And that's super important, especially if you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody. I mean, you know, I've said it many, many times in the past, you get one goddamn life. So you damn well better enjoy it and be happy about it. So don't waste it you know, doing things you don't want to do, and if, you know, if you're not happy in whatever situation you find yourself in, you know, get out of it. Period. Now, I could kind of speak to that with a bit of a grain of salt, because obviously I have no intention of getting out of the situation I currently find myself in with this little bundle of hotness in front of me. Because this is just a bloody hoop. I can follow her around all day. She is really, really progressing this year, I think, more than ever. I think I like watching that more than anything. You know, her first few rides, <laughs> when I first got her into Enduro on her old uh, TTR 23, was, uh, you know, you ever seen a newborn deer try and walk for the first time? It's kind of like that. But then, one day, she clicked and she began to frolic. It was awesome. And now we just kind of trudge along together. Shoot, when I'm leading the way, even when I get to hoof and she's shooting maybe 10, 15 seconds off my pace, not bad at all. So if I ever have to stop to wait for her, by the time I stop my bike, turn the engine off to listen for her, here she is. It did not used to be the case. But back to my point. Do the things you love with the one you love because you love to do them. Period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're not past go, blah, 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 yada, yada. It's very, very important. And if you are searching for someone to do those things with, I highly recommend you go do those things you love as much as humanly possible. Because the law of, a law of averages dictates eventually you will find someone to do that same thing with that's already doing it. There's a lady my wife follows on social media. Uh, I believe her name is Sarah Bomar. Her and her husband are actually uh, bow hunters, but she has pretty good philosophies on life, you know? And uh, she kind of mentioned that same thing and alluded to the fact that, you know, if, if you're single, but you really love to do something, you'll find the healthiest relationship within that thing you love to do. So go do that one thing as much as possible, and eventually, you're very, very likely to meet someone, you know, in that same realm. And then I kind of was taken aback for a minute. I was like, well, I'll be damned, this chick's onto something. Makes sense. I mean, me and Destiny didn't both ride an Euro when we met, you know, 11 years ago. But I was racing Superbike, and she rode quads. So we both kind of had this, uh, you know, motorsports thing going on and uh, kind of blossomed into this. And it works out very well. So, you know, if dirt bike is your thing or, or badminton or ping pong or golf or monster trucks, four wheels, shit, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be laying on the grass. If there's a club or a hobby for laying on the grass, go join that club. You might meet somebody who likes the same thing. Of course, I'm being facetious here. I don't think there's a laying on the grass club, but goddamn, you like a club for everything anymore. But it's important, guys. It's very, very important. 
smoother than I ever thought it would be. And we're just gonna kinda keep this going the way we figure. We were talking about this sitting around a campfire last night. We've got a solid 30 years of this sport left in us. So really, we're just getting started. And we're gonna keep this whole thing going. As I've said many times before, and we'll repeat, because it's truth. Ooh, it's getting a little narrow. If you do ride single track enduro with your wife, gentlemen, it is always better to follow behind them. Some wives don't like it because they make them, you know, it makes them feel nervous or they don't want to hold anybody up, but it's always a safe bet. I have this argument with my wife every time we go. You know, she's like, oh, I don't want to be in front. It's like, well, you're going to be in front for a while. So I see kind of how you're riding and make sure you're going to be all right. Kind of sets my mind at ease more than anything. And then, yeah, off you go. But lately, with the way she's been riding and kind of the way she's come along and her skill level, I don't really have to worry about that so much. She's doing just fine. you guys the only sad part of our day coming out and riding is when we gotta load up and go home even then I suppose you know that's not so bad they always say home is where the heart is and, and we definitely love our home we love our little critters and our life out in the country of course it's quiet and peaceful but I found, not to get all sappy and sentimental on you f***ers, but my home is wherever this young lady is currently at. So right now, in this moment, I'm at home. And I feel that physically. And that's something, uh, it's different, I'll be honest, to, to feel, you know, as we are out here in the wilderness uh, as comfortable as if I was sitting on my spot on the couch at home because she's there you know I, and I really hope you guys out there find that in whatever you do with whomever you do it with and once you find that you have achieved Zen all right, we're back at it after Mrs. needed a little 90 second breather to let her blood flow come back to her hands. Ooh. No, that way. See, she's really smart about that stuff. She always stops and asks. She doesn't just go for something. She always stops at intersections. And you know, she just has a natural mental model of to-dos and not-to-dos when riding out here. It's nothing I've necessarily taught her, it's just kind of something she's kind of come to know, I guess. But we are... That's get up in the thick bit here. And to be honest with you, <laughs> That's kind of all we have for you today, you guys. Uh, we didn't really, you know, actually plan on filming a whole lot this weekend. And we were just having a conversation about this the other day. And I said, well, you know what? That's kind of something good to talk about. So I just thought I'd share it with y'all. And if I could give you one piece of advice, go outside and play with the one you love. It doesn't matter what you're doing. The thing is, you're doing it together. And enjoy it. You have to enjoy it. That's the thing, you guys. If you're not, it's really no point. But go outside and play. It doesn't matter where you are, how old you are, who you are. 
nothing. But get there, you know, just get there. Go out and do it. Have fun. As much as you possibly can, you know. I never met an old person that says, man, I really wish I worked more and not spent so much time with the people I love. No one's ever said that. Because it's ridiculous. So go out there and do it. You'll find you'll be much, much happier for it. And I'm going to go do the same thing. I'm going to go play with my wife for a while. We're going to go have fun on dirt bikes in the trails. So with all that said, as always, take care of yourselves out there, everybody, and God damn it, take care of each other. And we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.